So look, we're, we're going to do percutaneous instrumentation, but I want you to, I want to point out a couple of things. Uh, first of all, we are about to do this and none of us are wearing lead. Um, yeah, so here's, here's the AP of uh, the cadaver that we have. So we have been handed something with a higher degree of difficulty because uh, this particular cat cadaver does in fact have scoliosis. Um, so that's fun for us. And then we're using um, uh, the Striker navigation system. This is their new Q system, which actually just came out within the last few months. So this isn't, I actually have not used this in a human being yet. I've only used it in the lab. There's a couple of ways of doing this. One of the really cool things about this system is that they have this spine mask, which you can fit on the skin. You just, it just uh, affixes to the skin with adhesive. And then, so there's no, uh, there, there's no tracker that's necessary. You don't have to pin um, anything to the patient. It's on the skin. You, uh, you do a spin and then uh, that automatically registers to the system. That isn't what we did today. Today we used uh, a tracker. Um, so if you notice, none of us are wearing lead, and yet we are about to do percutaneous instrumentation. I absolutely loathe radiation, and so I have virtually no radiation exposure in my practice, even though, um, as I was told, I put in about 16,000 pedicle screws between 2016 and 2021, and virtually none of them were placed with uh, fluoroscopy, x-ray, or any kind of radiation exposure. So I don't need 16,000 opportunities in a five-year period to, uh, um, uh, to get radiated. So Zach and, uh, you know, um, uh, Rod has been telling me for weeks how unbelievably talented Zach is and how incredible he is. Zach has never done this before, and we're going to put him on the spot for a system he's never seen before, for something he's never done before, and yet he's going to get it right. No, my God. Okay, so here we go. This is how this this is how this works. The great thing about this is that we can we can mock up a screw, but we don't actually want the screw. We want the we just want that. That's all we want. Stop. That's all we want. So this thing is showing me a fifty or a forty-five millimeter tip extension off of this instrument, and so this is how I know where to make the skin incisions. You can see we're right here on the skin, and this thing is telling me that if this is where our stab incision is, then we're in a great situation to dock onto the bone. Um, and then, nope, you're, you have the correct tool, okay? Okay, so now you're gonna come back in with that thing. Uh, let me just make that slightly bigger for you. Okay, so come on in. Get through the skin. There you go. Okay, now you're gonna dock on bone where you want it to go. So I would be, yep, that's great right there. And then maybe if you wanna be just a millimeter medial. Yeah, get it. Yep, you feel that? I feel it. Okay, and then put your hand towards head, just a hair. And, uh, that's, oh, that, that's his yeah. butt. Okay, <laughs> so that's a nice trajectory, right? So hold this here so that you have good control of it, mm -hmm. okay? And you see how you moved just yeah. slightly. And I'm going to slide this in for you. And you're going to take this thing. Mm -hmm. Hold this with your left hand. Hold this with your left hand. OK? Yep. Now, you're I just slightly like high. Yeah, it moves. Yep. So just get that situated exactly where you want it. Now, you want to slide this whole thing down just a, just a hair. There we go. OK? Hand towards, uh, now you want hand towards head. Just a little bit, just a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, so that's a great trajectory and then aim just a little bit more medial and then just get this thing going. Okay, now you've, you've, you've buried this thing. So now he's gonna drop a screw and we're gonna place, a, a, we said a 5.545 is just what we had loaded up. So he's gonna drop that screw. That tells you that's where our screw is gonna end up, okay? So now pull this out. Now take the screw. Okay, this has to face towards the camera. Uh, we want the screw to be blue. So you're just gonna line the blue up with the, uh, so that's not right. It's not, it's, um, that, yeah, it's that one. Okay, so see how you're just slightly high? Yep, there you go. Now just start putting in the screw. And, and David, you, didn't, you did not tap, is that correct? We didn't tap. So if I had a different system that would just let me, um, uh, that had the, the integrated um, uh, K-wire, 
you can do it that way. You're good. See now, see how your tulips lined up. Oh, you yeah. could maybe put it in another, another, and that's it. Okay. And then this just drops up like that, and then wait a minute. Nope, that drops down, and then like that. Yeah, that's all it takes. You want to do another one? Sure. That didn't exactly take very long. So now or, this this one, we're going to do the exact same thing, except you're just going to do it faster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I hate radiation. I hate K-wires. we got to go back and get rid of that screw and go back to... So I hate radiation. I hate K-wires. Um, I hate extra steps. I hate anything that is, you know, uh, costing time. So there you go. So you're at the skin. You've got a tip extension that tells you that's where our incision should be. So you're going to back out. I'm going to make a little hole just like that. You're going to come back in. You're going to dock down. Like it. Okay. Then we're going to put this thing inside there. And I actually will usually um, just keep these things together. Gotcha. But it's okay while you're doing this. So just do a little bit of hand towards head. Yep. And a little bit more medial. There you go. Go for it. Okay. Stop. Drop it. He's going to drop that screw. You're going to come out. He's got your screw loaded up for you. He's going to make it blue. You're going to make blue match yellow. Matches. Okay, and then you're gonna put your screw in. That can't have been longer than one minute. Yeah. No radiation, no K wire, uh, you know, minimal steps. You can actually do this in one fewer step. And we, did, we only had two, uh, we only had one working drill. I actually prefer to do all of this uh, with, with the drill, so I'll do all of it. You're good. And, um, oh. Uh, and then there is an option of doing this in a single step. Yeah. So, any questions? I've got a question. Yeah. With more traditional kind of uh, navigation system, we have been taught that you have to have a very solid, you know, fixation of the fiducia to a, you know, constant bony uh, problem. So how how accurate is this one that you put that? I don't know even what is the name of that thing put you you put on the skin. How accurate is this? The spine mask um, that uh, was the thing that I had shown. This the spine mask is actually incredibly uh, accurate, but it's accurate for. Um, in my experience, really for three segments. And then the fourth segment is, is, is sometimes okay and sometimes iffy. Um, the other issue with the spine mask is that, uh, you know, most of this navigation is done with triangulation, right? And, uh, and so depending on how thick the patient is, you get further and further in the depths so your entry point for the screw can be um, quite good, but the exact trajectory gets off a little bit when you get into the depths. So if it's a very large patient, um, then I actually wouldn't operate on them because I don't operate on people with a BMI over 32. But uh, uh, if it's a, then I would also use this kind of system for that, uh, a, a tracker that's affixed to bone. And uh, w one other question. Uh, David, my, uh, I don't have as big of biceps as you or Zach, and uh, in, in turning in the screws, right, if you're doing, you know, two, three, four levels, do you, would you ever consider putting the screw in under power yeah, instead of I, doing it? Yeah, we only had one drill, um, and so I chose, to, I chose to add the drill to, um, or sorry, we only, we only had one power drill, you know, this is a drill bit, so I chose to use power for, uh, for the drill. I think you actually have a little bit more control with power, um, and then I would have put the I would have put the screw in under power as well. But we only had one we only had one power system. Got it. So I would do this with two power systems: one for the drill and one for the screw. Or I would use a single pass screw system where and power it. Yeah. What do you think, Zach? Pretty slick. Is, was that, in fact, the first time you had ever touched it? Definitely, 100%. Okay. I feel like I'm an L.A. game show host where I'm, you know, <laughs> like tricking the audience into thinking that this is all a ruse. No, it's for real. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, we saw it here. Thank you very much, Dr. Thank Tom. you.